glad that you were jumping on with me, man. I made a call to you. You said no problem I'm coming on the show. How are you, my brother? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing great, bro. You know, how you maintaining during this quarantine, bro? Oh, man, it's, uh, staying in, man. Staying real. <laughs> staying in. It's good, but yeah, I'm staying in, man. Uh, right now, just, you know, I was out. I had a lot to do today, but for the most part, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, bro. I'm quarantined, like, yeah, quarantine. <laughs> How about you? Well, you know, it's one of your best songs, bro. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for tuning in to the Flowway Show. I got Big Mike from Day 26 here. Yes, sir. 13 years ago, on this date, to the exact date, it's crazy. I requested this date, and it just all lined up perfectly to the exact date. You and four of the brothers made the band. Yes, sir. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. In 13 years, I know it's been a role for you guys. It's been a journey, ups and downs, man, which you guys have, uh, you know, you guys have uh, always uh, kept it together, always got back on the road and always gave your fans. But, you know, all right. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they appreciate y'all and they love y'all for that. You know, I'm a fan myself, my brother, so definitely salute <clears throat> to you all. You know, whoop. Like, how did you feel in that moment when your name was called this day, 13 years ago? Um, no, it was it was a game changer, it was a life changing moment, man. I, um, for me, I always, you know, I believe in feelings and you know, working hard for things, and it always come, uh, it comes to fold. So, you know, I worked hard for that, for that spot, and for that, um, for him to say my name and, and be a part of the group. So, when, when it happened, you know, I was I was super excited, but I knew that you know I was gonna get it anyway. But I was I was. Like I just knew my life was different at that point. So you wasn't you wasn't surprised? No, I wasn't like overly surprised because I I just because I, I worked my tail off for it. You know, I did everything that they asked me to do. I, I won every competition. I won um, every battle. Like I and then and then on top of that, like I just I gave my I gave my all. So at the end of the day, um, that was the reward for it. So I, I know that I, I I did everything I could to be a part of this group. 46, right? 46,000 people. 46,000 people auditioned. Uh, it might have been more than that. It was a lot of people. It was a lot. <laughs> like only 600 people went to New York, right? I know that. Yeah, yeah that's right. 600 went to New York. And only five of you guys out of... Six went to New 600 went to New York. He chose 20 out of them 600. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How was the chemistry with you guys? Because I know it was like you guys didn't know each other, right? Prior to, prior to that. No, nah, we did not at all. So how was the chemistry? Um, when it was. You, you mean after together? the band or before the band? After, after, right after the band got chosen, because at this point, guess what? These these are your guys, right? You know, these are these are people that you probably didn't know, or you know, you had a, a period of time where you got to know them somewhat. But at the end of the day, it was still a competition, so it was. It was y'all. You got all of you guys was in grind mode, right? Know? Right. It wasn't, it wasn't really no friendship. So once the band got formed, how was the chemistry with you guys? Um, that? Honestly, the chemistry was actually it was pretty easy because like because we spent so much time together um, beforehand. So like with us being in like people don't understand like we filmed it. We did all that filming and stuff like from it was probably about six months. So all that like all that time from February all up to to August, it was just us. Uh we had like a break here and there to go home, like you know, at one point in time, but it was just us being around each other. But the, the chemistry was easy because a lot of us was already in groups together during the competition and during like uh going through everything. So mm -hmm. um and you know, we looked at it like as like a you know, a brotherhood. So after we once we all made it through, whoever made it through the five, you know, it was all you know, even the top twenty that was in the house. The chemistry was easy because we all did everything together, so we had to depend on each other to get through certain um, tasks and things. But you know, the competition kicked in. But after we finally made it out, you know, it, it was it was easy. That's one thing that we don't have a problem with. Like we could not see each other for for like I remember one time we took a break. It was like years, and we come right back together, and it's just like this as far as like the chemistry on singing and how we act around each other. Like we haven't missed a beat. So, what was it like working with Puff? 
Oh man, game changer, man. Puff is a different breed, man. This dude, uh, <laughs> he got a, he has he always has a million different things going on, man. And, he, and excuses just you know don't work for him. So you can't, you know, if you have, if you're a person that has like a one track mind, I only can do one thing at one time. You'll never, you'll never survive taxes, around him. No excuses. Yeah, no all that. <laughs> he don't, he don't care about none of that. <laughs> all he care about is the work. Get it done. With something that he taught you. You know that stuck with you since since everything since we're leaving bad boy and everything that stuck with you. Well, one quote that he always gave us: "It's always somebody in life trying to take your spot," and that's something that you know that still resonates with me today. Because like, like if you don't do the work, like I said before, you always got to keep going. Always trying to find something, something new, something else, something constant. Otherwise, <laughs> um, somebody else is is up and they're they're at it and they're getting to it and they're trying to get what you got or surpass you so you always got to keep working right was the last time you spoken to him like have you guys spoke since you guys left bad boy uh yeah the last time i, I haven't spoken to puff in a while now but the last time i spoke to him was um maybe there's been some years i haven't spoken to him since uh, around like the bad boy reunion you guys should have been on that yeah we had a lot of things going on with that but uh it didn't work out um we, you know a couple of things messed us up as far as like, uh, you know, just how they wanted it, we were supposed to be on it for a certain date, but it just didn't work out. But you know, maybe next time. Right, Simon. But we took that and we and we did our own tour. We did the 26 day tour. Uh, it was just us and the group, and we and just the group, and we went out and we did it all over. So we was in L.A., um, Atlanta, New York, um, um, Florida. We did it, Texas. Um, I mean, it was all over all over the country. We did. Mm. Uh, a 26 date tour. They actually it's turned like, into 30 something dates, but. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I saw you guys, man, back out there on the road killing it. Have you guys ever had, like, like many groups like North Beach and, um, you know, Jewel Hill? I know it's a lot of groups that went through things. Like, have you guys, can you recall ever a moment where you guys, one of you or both, two of you or all of you had, like, a big falling out and you had to go on stage and do an interview or go out there and do a show? Like uh, with another group, you guys. Oh, just listen to the vision. Yeah, I mean, we've had plenty of times where, like, where we might have got into it or had a fight or something, and then we had right. to turn around and go do a show together. Like when you on stage, that's that's the thing about it. Like the stage is like, it's like all sacred of, ground. It's like out the window. Yeah, right? it's like sacred ground. Everything all out the window once you step on stage. Once you step your foot on that stage, it's a whole different ball game after that. So it's like all the things that you might have uh, been talking about or. In disagreement about it's over once you touch right. the stage, right? Man, you guys took off. I remember just like Times Square being shut down. I just remember like you guys were right, like after that whole thing. You know, you see, you see a lot of those TV shows, and you know, people get signed in groups, and you know, people never come out. You guys are immediately, right? Yeah, after, yeah, before, it was like go time. You know, you guys did a great job keeping on be alive. These guys had two albums, right? Two successful, huge two. albums on Bad Boy. Right. Then you guys broke up. You yeah, know. we you know. Change the pace after that. <laughs> mm. It was like the fans were, you know, my phone gone down. The fans were, you know, devastated. You know. Yeah, you know, it was it, at that um just the get it back together and you know so we just needed time apart because we spent so much time together during it during that point of our uh, career that it was like a it we needed to be away from one another for a while you know just take a break from the industry for everything um and you know that that not really a breakup it was just like a little time you know apart for everybody to work on what they wanted to work because people wanted to do certain kind of music and different things of that nature so we just wanted everybody to be able to spread their wings and do what they needed to do Sometimes you do, you know, you need time to separate and grow and, you right. know, and then come back together, you know, to keep something going. You guys have definitely did that and, you know, did a great job of coming back together and keeping the keeping the Day 26 brand, you know, alive, the name alive. Right. You know, um, i seen that, like, in the recent year, Brian Angel hasn't been performing with you guys. Um, are you guys like currently in contact? Will he ever return to the band? 
Um, well, at this part right now, no, uh, we don't think so. Uh, we, you know, a, we had a, he won like I said, this time comes where everybody wants to do their own things. He wanted to step away from the group. He wanted to be um, known as a, a separate entity. And, um, you know, we wish him success and wish him all the help, you know, have no, we have no ill will towards him. We have no, you know, bad feelings or anything. We just that he didn't want to be a part of the group anymore. You guys, you know, you see like groups like Drew Hill, um, you know, replace members. Have you guys ever thought about it or even talked, you know, talked about we, it? We've <laughs> joked about it. <laughs> Honestly, we've joked about uh, doing it. You guys got some calls. <laughs> yeah, we had some people that wanted to like, step in and be in it, but, you know, we, we it, it wouldn't happen because for us, it's like nobody would, that would come in then went through the things that we went through. So it's already like a, uh, at a we just wouldn't do it. We just keep it at four or how, however many. You, know, the, you guys have the history. You guys have the catalog. You know you exactly, work, exactly. You know, I never. I sometimes I never seem to. I never seem to understand that. You know, when groups have been together a long time or they put a lot of work in. And, yeah, you, know, you replace somebody. It, <laughs> it, it, it seems like it never, it never works out for that person. And then that person could be a really good singer. And fans, most of the time, really don't give that person a chance. Or you know, it could be just a really good artist in general. But and most of the time, fans don't give that person a chance. And then, you know. The original members come back together. Right. That person, it's hard for them to try to embark on a solo career after that, you know? But a lot of the times, it's, it's more like a, um, a lot of times it's just that people don't think that that person might not be, you know, for the group or, you know, they might not be that it thing that, you know, if sometimes if somebody leaves, that, that was a star in a lot of people's eyes. So when you bring in somebody else, they might not take that person as being the same kind of star, the same kind of caliber person that... Right. You know, just left. So you know, sometimes it's just it, the dynamics of it just don't work out. But for us, we, we wouldn't even have to worry about that. People, we ain't bringing nobody else in. <laughs> it's gonna be the four until we die. The four amigos. The four a amigos. Lot, that's it. A lot of people was excited when you guys announced um, that you guys were going on tour at Mature last year. Yeah. So shout out to G Squared events, Gary. I, I work with those guys for you often. Really good camp. Um, I know a lot of people was excited to see that you guys were going out on tour, and then it didn't happen. You know, whatever happened with the TB two, uh, the TB uh, tour. Do you think? Um. Do you think well, honestly, um, the TB tour was 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 kicking off, and you know, we wanted it to to go, but due to like investors and things, it just didn't work out in the favor of how we wanted it to. So, um, but I think they they were getting ready to um to do something else. And uh, they want us to be a part of it, but it just didn't it just didn't work for whatever reason. Mm. I've read that you have a, um, a dance studio, right, in Charlotte, right, in your hometown. Can you tell yeah. me a little bit more about that and what you work um, with. The I know you do a lot of that kind of work these days. Can yeah, you... so like now I have you know dance studio, which I'm affiliated with. Um, it's called Fusion Force, Charlotte. Um, I have a space out up in there. And then we, you know, I help, I do stuff to give back to the kids, like, you know, just to um, do classes on vocal lessons and um, like acting, different things like that. So they all come in and then they, they're able to get training in some sort of way. Um, but shout out to Fusion Force, all the kids in there right now dancing. <laughs> I got somebody on here right now. I got a teacher on here right now, Keisha Lino. What's going on? I know, like, you can't mention making the band without you guys. And then you came. And we saw, everyone saw that this year it was announced that making the band was coming back for a reboot. Have you guys gotten a call to come to be a part of that? Or making the band? Talks about that, yeah, of the reboot. Um, yeah, we did. Um, we were, there were things that, that were talked about as far as like the reboot and, you know, but we trying to, we just want to be a part of it any way that we can because, I mean, we feel like that, uh, we, are, we since we were the last ones and the most successful, you know, the successful ones out of that, then that uh, you know, just only right for us to be a part of it. So hopefully, you know, once the, the pandemic dies down, or you know, we find a cure, or figure out how how things are going to move forward, it comes back up. Hopefully, we'll be a part of it. So you, bro, you guys definitely got to be a part of it. Right, listen. Who you tell them, man? That's, that's how I feel, man. It's like making a band. You can't even say making a band no more without Day 26. You cannot. You cannot. What can you say 
to other groups out there who's trying to find their way and trying to keep it together, you know, through ups and downs. What, 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 what's your message to the groups that may be watching? Um, honestly, it's just more so like uh, you got to be open to each other. Make sure you listen. That's the biggest thing, like, because it's going to be – unless, you know, most people come into it as a group, they've known each other for, the, for a certain part of their lives. So um, just listen and be open to evolution from each person individually. And, you know, just always have each other's back. And through that, you know, you'll be good. Just always be honest and open with each other so that, you know, that no one – and be tight, have a strong bond. Because mm -hmm. the, the biggest thing that breaks up groups is, like, people come in and they start uh, talking about, like, what – this person needs to do, or you're a bigger star than this person, or you're a bigger star than that person, you know, you don't need them, you can go off and do this on your own, you know, those kind of things are what break up a group, and you know, just you gotta be strong. Shift gears a little bit, I remember about two years ago, right, you guys put out the new EP, right. new day, and you guys had really, really good songs on there. I, me personally, I feel like I didn't get the credit that it deserved. Um, were you guys happy with the results and the outcome of the project? Um, we were uh, we were happy with, you know, how it went. Um, we do feel like it could have did more. It could have had more recognition. But um, it did go number one on R&B, you know, as soon as it, re it, it was released. It went number one on R&B on, uh, on our charts, on iTunes and things of that nature. So we were happy about that. Uh, that was all because of the fans and the people that wanted to hear our music. So... Um, that was a big thing, but we do realize that it could have been a lot bigger. And, you know, it's just that, you know, things happen how it happens. Mm -hmm. When can people expect new music from you guys? Um, new music at this moment is going to be a little bit. We, you know, we're not in the, in the studio. Nobody, we're not actually, like, getting ready to put down another project right now. Not at this point. Right now we just um, – pretty much we were on doing dates that's what we were doing we were out here performing and, and doing tour dates that's but as a pandemic has yeah so as of right now you know everybody's at a you know at a standstill at the hall everybody's you know doing their own in, individual music you know um uh their own individual endeavors you know willie has a the, uh, the tv show the marriage boot camp show that he's on that he's part of and um rob is doing stage and theater um q still doing the same thing he has new music so, yeah, we all still good and well. We're just not doing a not. We're not gonna have any new music for a while. Okay. okay. But you can go get the 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 music that's out. The EP, the EP, EP still jamming. Hey, <laughs> the EP I'm still jamming. I it straight through, and I was like, yo, it's it's a really good project. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Um, but don't keep the fans waiting too long, my brother. I'm gonna try not to, man. You guys don't keep the fans waiting too long. I know that with, you know, a lot of groups, you guys are, like, to, the chemistry has to be there. You guys have to get in the studio together, you know. You know, with, with rappers and different things like that, you know, you can easily send me a track. I jump on it. I know with groups. Right. The chemistry it's a dip, it's different. The vibe's got to be there. And the yeah, it's different. It can happen and, and really bring it all together, especially when you got different voices um, coming together on that. Would right. you ever go back to reality TV? Like, besides, like, doing Making a Band reboot, would you ever, like, be on a reality show and let people more into your life? Um, you know, for the most part, yeah. I'm open to it. Uh, it's just, you got to be the right thing, the right fit. I may, you know, through uh, this point in my life, I believe in positive things and positivity, so I ain't finna go on nobody's show just acting crazy. So, you, <laughs> that ain't, that's not been, for me. <laughs> you've always been the one that's, that's pretty much that stayed out of the, the controversy stuff. Well, and, yeah, man, I, I don't, I don't, you know, that's not me, because you, you know, know always kept a clean, a clean slate. I don't like controversy. I don't like negativity. I don't like none of that stuff because I, it clutters it, it. It changes your atmosphere. So, mm. you know, I don't, it's enough of that going on in the world, like negativity and things like that. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to deal with it at all. So, if it's not like a good situation to where it's something positive or something like. You know, not like very bad off. I don't want to do it. Right, right, right. What made you go back home? You know, a lot of people become successful, and everybody move out to LA or move to New York. What made you really go back home to Charlotte and and and, and, well, and, and base there? 
Well, honestly, I lived in I lived in in, in L.A. and I lived in New York. It was I went there too. It's just that I like my roots. I'm I'm a country boy. So, I uh, and you know it's just that I like Charlotte because it's it gives me the best of both worlds. I I get a little bit. It kind of feel like a little city life, but then I get to stay in the country. Like it's still I get that that vibe. So, right. You know, Charlotte's pretty much the best of both worlds for me. Um, I pretty much lived all over the place and just like I like it here. And it, it was it was it's close to my family, you know. It's not too far. I'm originally from Gaffney, South Carolina, and so it's only about an hour and a half or an hour or so away um, for me to go back to see my mom and the rest of my family. So you know, I'm just I'm far enough away, but I'm just you know I can I can go back home anytime I feel like it. <laughs> got you, got you. So people want to be a part of your dance um, studio. How could they go about joining you with that? Oh, you can just log on to Fusion Force. Um, go over there, and then it's it's in Charlotte, right off of uh, Sugar Creek. So um, all you gotta do is just remember Fusion Force Charlotte, and then it's a whole website and things. And you can look on there, and also if you wanted to get lessons from me, you can go to uh, IamBigMike.com, and you can find out how you know you can find out how to dance and everything from there as well. There we go. There we go, brother. I know you out and about. So I'm not gonna hold you too much longer. I thank you for your time, bro. I thank you for joining me uh, doing this interview. Everybody who's just tuning in or tuned in late, if you miss any of this, it'll be available right on IGTV um, right after the show. Um, and it'll also be available on YouTube in about an hour or so. Um, if you're not doing anything tomorrow night, I got uh, 112 coming on here. I don't know, big brothers. Yeah, <laughs> bad boy. You know, yeah, the big know. brothers right there, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one twelve coming on tomorrow night. So if we're not doing anything. Got a little time. Tune in. I'm gonna have Slim and Mike on here. We're gonna talk about their new project and everything that they're doing um, as well. As well. But thank you, my brother. Thank you for joining yo, me. Yo, thank you for having me, man. Much love to everybody that came on here. That um that was on that, that talked to me through these comments. I was reading them, but I couldn't write back because I'm trying to answer questions, guys. But <laughs> I appreciate y'all tuning in, coming on, and uh, being a part of this. Um, and I thank you for having me, man. You know, I, I remember we, we linked up maybe about a year or so ago. And, you yes, know, sir. it's yes, all sir. love, man. Anytime you need me, just hit me up, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, man. You be safe out there, man. All right, you too. All right, bless, bro. Right. That was Big Mike from Day 26. Thank you all for tuning in to the Flowway Show. Um, we don't have an after show tonight. But tomorrow we will. Tomorrow I got 112 coming on the show. Let me get a little closer. We're going to be talking about their new project, 112 Forever. 112 Forever coming out um, Friday. We're going to have a good time. So make sure you join me tomorrow night, same time, 8 p.m. for the good vibes. 112 is coming on. Um, next week I got Tweak. In upcoming weeks I got Donald Jones, um, Kelly Price, Frankie J. So we're going to keep it moving. Once again, thank you all for tuning in to the Flow A Show. Um, oh, sponsored. This episode uh, was sponsored by Beautiful Beauty Supply. Um, you can log on to beautifulbeautysupply.com for all your beauty and cosmetic needs. Um, skip the line, the store, save some gas money, skip COVID, and shop at beautifulbeautysupply.com while buying anywhere else when you can buy black. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all once again for tuning in. Much love and blessings to you. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. We got 112 in the building. All right? Give a couple shout outs. Bold and beautiful. Shout out to you. Amber, what's up? What's up? Bree, what's up? Mindy, what's up? Haley, what's up? Yeah, he said it. He said it's gonna be a little while before you get you guys get any um new day twenty six music. But y'all can check out the new EP as a, a, a new day on all platforms. Charlotte's so definitely the vibe. Shout out to Jay Nicole. Peace, y'all. See you tomorrow night, all right? Same time. Love.